if you had a twenty thousand, I, I I couldn't hear all the question, but I'm just going to tell you guys what I tell everybody about meta tags. Useless. No, no, uh, uh. I don't even use the keywords tag at all. Not with one, two, or three words in it because of how little it's valued in the algorithm now. So much less to do the research. You know what I do? This is what I, the way I look at meta tags. Uh, title tag, obviously very important. Um, get a good one. Yeah, but you know what? You're the only person here that honestly wants to even have a conversation about a 20,000 keyword tag. And I don't mean to be rude, but it's true. Everybody here knows that the keywords tag, and if you don't, take it to the bank. To me, the keywords tag is almost useless. So I don't really use it for anything. What I do try to focus on is the descriptions tag because that's what people read before they decide whether or not it's worth their time to click. So if you've got a free shipping offer, if you've got something you're really trying to put out there, I put that into my meta descriptions tag so that when, I, so when somebody sees all the different people that sell shoes and they see, hey, Porsche's up there uh, for luxury cars, but yet they're saying get a free test drive or something, I think that might entice more clicks and get more of them to my site. So that's why I would go about taking that approach. Question. In your keywords, in your keywords tag, I can't tell you because I don't use them anymore. I'm dead serious. Sean's heard me say, "No, I, I, mm -mm, no, you're definitely not hurt." Um, because you know what? The thing I love about SEO, and this is getting way off topic, but the thing I love about it is if you are purchasing SEO services, or if you're even hiring somebody, the beauty is is to just tell them to shut up. Where do you rank? What do, what have you done to for your own business to rank well? Uh, well, we're the shoemaker's kids and we don't have time to do our own. You can't work with somebody like that. If you take anything from the time that we're talking about here, whether you're doing it yourself, not doing it, if you're building great content or whatever, anybody who even breaths SEO should be able to show you where they rank for some great words and you should be able to run a link colon on their domain and not just see it all spammed out with nothing but comment tags and, and, and paid directories. If you see that, you know that they're not a good company to work with or even a good person to hire. SEO is a very proof is in the pudding kind of game. So if I don't use meta keywords tags, you don't need to use meta keywords tags because I'm, I'm trying to go up against other people that do SEO too for some pretty competitive words and I don't use it so you probably really don't need to use it. That's just my opinion though. Did everybody hear? I don't think anybody heard that. Makes a lot of sense. This is why I'm an SEO guy. Because I can't, I don't know, don't take anything I've said to matter for anything other than SEO. Because what, what Joel's mentioning is that that can somehow sometimes trigger the ads to make them more relevant on the actual pages. Which I wouldn't know anything about because I don't do the paid search thing. But I do, it's a reason to keep them. And, and, and there you go. So there's a reason that's not an SEO benefit to keeping them. So if you're serving AdSense or contextual ads, it might actually help. Yes? You, here's the funny thing. I don't know what Google's limit is on the keywords tag because I just don't even use it. I don't use it. I'm not like trying to tell you guys one thing and then have you do it so it doesn't work so you call me and ask me to work with you because we can't take on any more work as it already is. So I'm just trying to give it all to you. Don't waste your time. Like That's the, that's the old thinking mentality. Get out of it. Get out of the, I gotta have 65 characters or less in my title tag thought. Make a good sentence. Just make a good sentence. But then what makes the difference between the one and the 10 is okay, well maybe we'll put the company name, maybe, at the end. So that if Google does cut something off somewhere, the less important ones are out there. Unless of course, the fact that it's an official site for your brand actually has more value. Then maybe you go ahead and stick it up at the front. But don't get into the minutia of SEO because then you'll be totally down the wrong path. You're working on stuff that's not working. I've seen people tell me they have spent 10 to 20 hours developing their keywords tag and I go in and go, oh, that was a bit of a waste. I don't know how to tell you that in a nice way. So I'm just going to tell you it was a waste of your time. Um, so yeah, I would say on the meta stuff, just write good titles. You got to have the keywords in your title. The only time I've seen a website rank well for something, that, not the only time, but one of the best examples is the word click here. Type click here into Google. Guess what comes up as the first result? 
Yes. Why does Adobe come up as the first result? 